Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Nathan. Thank you. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Thank you for the cameras, for the ones that are already with the camera. Carla, Herbert, Astrid, Ethel, Hilda, Fidel, Lisbeth, Diana. Thank you for being on time. I have 12 participants right now. I guess we will wait for the attendance. So how are you? Today is uh, Wednesday, the middle of the week for the ones that work from Monday to Friday. So you have just two more dates, yes? Uh, yeah, Jose, teacher. I have a little problem with my internet, Hilda. Oh, Hilda, what happened? You have slow internet probably? Yes, and I switched my phone to my computer, so. Ya voy a regresar. Ah, ok, ok, no problem. So, let's okay, see. Okay. Thank you, thank, thank you. you, Hilda. Let's see. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Aneida. Thank you, Jessica. Nice. So, uh, we are going to start like always. And. German, thank you for being on time. So let's see, we have 13 participants. Todavía faltan algunos. So uh, let's see, let's see. Um, Jessica, how are you, Jessica? I'm very good. Okay, uh, what do you do during the day, Jessica? What do you do? Or where do you work if you work? No la alcancé a escuchar. What do you do? What do you do during the date? Okay, so at the in the morning, in the afternoon. So what are you doing during the date? Are you working? Prácticamente todo el día trabajo. Ah, okay, so where do you where uh, do you work? Where? Jessica, where do you work? Where? You don't know? Oh, where do you work? You work in a restaurant, you work in a supermarket, you work at an uh. office. Perdón, es que no lo había entendido, teacher. Okay. I work in my house, in my crafts. Tengo un emprendimiento. Ah, okay. So, and what do you do? So, you do like, um, I don't know, like souvenirs or I don't know, you do like jewelry, no? ¿De qué se trata? Me está preguntando. Uh -huh. Ah, de manualidades de FOMI. Ah, okay. So do you, do you, do you use it for like decoration for notebooks, probably, right? Yes. Books. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Perfect. So thank you. Welcome, Anna. Welcome, Edwin. Welcome, Glenda. Nice to see Good you. Here. Good evening. How are you, Anna Guerra? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Okay, ready for the class, right? Aquí, run, run, run. <laughs> okay, <laughs> running and running all over the house. Nice. Run, run, run. <laughs> Perfect. Irene, how are you, Irene Beatriz? Fine, teacher. What do you do, Irene? During the day, what do you do? Uh, work and study. Okay, so where do you work? Es una empresa familiar. Okay, it's a family business. 
Family okay. business. Family business. Are we able to know what kind of business it is? What kind of business? What do you do in that business, in your family business? It is food, it is... The, it is... Venta de teléfonos. Oh, okay, nice to know, okay. We need a new phone. <laughs> we need yes, we need a nice phones, okay? Okay, nice. So um, uh, do you repair phones as well or just brand new phones? Or are you able to repair? Or it's just, you sell just brand new? Or um, do you repair some phones? New. Just new. New. Okay, so nada de reparaciones, solo nuevo pending. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Nice. Welcome, Angie, Anna Miriam, Cindy Aldana, Ingrid Xiomara. Thank you, Daniel. So, Harold, welcome. So, uh, don't forget to your uh, camera. Thank you, Cordelia, for your camera. Eugenia, welcome. Nice to see you, Eugenia. Nice. Uh, yes, don't forget to have your cameras all the time because it's very important for the uh, recording sections. Okay, remember that we are uh, record recording all the sections and so we need to um, be in the video. Okay, we need to have our cameras on. Um, I'm going to start with the attendance, like every single class. Remember that we have to make sure that we are here. Okay. Uh, un anuncio antes que se me olvide y lo voy a recordar al final. Eh, les han enviado eh, la documentación para poder este, inscribir ¿verdad? el siguiente módulo. No dejen de mandar esa información. Les han dado una fecha límite si no me equivoco. Entonces es de que podamos eh, mandar esa información al correo que se les ha proporcionado. Ok, so tratemos de... I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, this model is third, uh, principiante or intermediate? Yeah, this one is principiante three. Ok. The, the next is a uh, intermediate one. Uh, yes, I guess, right. yes. I will I will right. double check in your case, but okay. I will say yes. Oh, creo que sería pre-intermedio. Ah, pre-intermedio, ok. Sí, porque cuando hice el, 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 ¿cómo se llama? La encuesta, no, no estaba tan seguro, pero sí, se le puse pre-intermedio uno. Okay, okay, so that that will, that's, that, that's the one that you will do, exactly. Okay, okay. Thank perfect. You. Thank you, thank you, you. Okay, so let's see the attendance. Uh, Anna Astrid. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Anna Guerra. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Anna Cristina. Anna, Anna Cristina. No. Ana Lisbeth Alvarado. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ana Miriam Guevara. No, Ana Miriam Guevara. Ana Victoria Aviles. Ana Victoria, no. Angie Elizabeth López. Present, Miss. Thank you. Carla Raquel Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Cindy Areli Aldan. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Cordelia Elizabeth Ventura. Hola. Cordelia. Yes, Cordelia Elizabeth, yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Daniel Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Diana Lisbeth Mengiva. Diana Lisbeth. No. Uh, Doris Maricela. Doris Maricela. No. 
Edwin Edgardo Soriano. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin H. Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Eneida Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Erica Eloisa. Erica. No. Eugenia Asunción. Present Miss. Thank you. Fidel Natanaya. Here I am. Thank you. Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Uh, then we have German Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Glenda Annette. Present teacher. Thank you. Harold Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Herbert Douglas. Present teacher. Thank you. Hilda Milagro. Here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ingrid Xiomara. Present, Miss. Thank you. Irene Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jaime Antonio. Jaime. No. Jefferson Mauricio. Jefferson. No. Jessica Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Nice. So let's start with the uh, activities that we have for today. So thank you for your cameras. Okay, thank you, Cordelia. Nice to see you. Uh, nice. Okay, remember, try to keep your cameras. Okay, so let me uh, share my screen. And we are going to continue with the uh, presentation. Okay, yesterday, I guess that we stopped like in this part. Oh my God. Okay, so we, will, we have many information right here, a lot of info, but we will try to see uh, the, um, what we have. So we are about to finish. Um, Lesson number four. So probably tomorrow we are going to start, uh, start, I'm sorry, with the lesson number five. That's the last one, okay? Next week, it will be the last week, okay? So we have today and tomorrow, and uh, we have the final exam at the end, okay? So in this uh, lesson, we mentioned that at the end of this class, uh, we will be able to uh, form we will be able to form positive and negative statements in simple past using irregular verbs. Did you remember that, um, that we mentioned that we have a regular verbs and that we have irregular verbs? Okay, so the regular verbs, we mentioned the rules. I don't know if you remember uh, the rules. Let's see, Fidel, do you remember the rules? for the uh, regular birds that maybe you can share with us? Yes, uh, if the verb uh, finally in uh, vowel, you have to uh, add it, just add it, uh, ed, add it for ed, if the verb uh, finally, I don't know, finish in uh, a consonant, you have to uh, add it, add it um, I don't, know, don't remember, just D, I suppose. I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Uh, the rules, I don't, I don't remember, but if, if I, I going to, to do this, this homework, I can do it. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Thank you, Fidel. Yes, okay. So look, we have the rules right here. Uh, Eugenia, go ahead. No, well, I'm gonna say the rules, but- you oh, Go ahead, me. do it, please. Do it, Eugenia. No, just say uh, for the most bears is we added ED, just ED for most of the regular bear. But when the regular bear in, in the vowel E, we added just D. 
And when the n in a consonant y, we change the y for one i and added ed. So, and for the verb that is one for just one syllable, both is, uh, is ending in a consonant, that consonant and added ed. Okay, thank you. Something Perfect. Like nice, Eugenia. Nice. Yeah, I know that we mentioned the rules, okay? And this is something that I told you that we need to memorize, okay? So we need to try to keep it in mind that if the bird is in the base form, okay? So most of the time I'm going to add the ED, right? But if the bird is already ending in a letter E, Okay, like here in this one. So we just need to add the letter D because we already have a knee at the end, okay? We have some examples right here. And the letter Y, if the bird ends in a letter Y, so we change it for an I plus the A E D, okay? And the other one is for some birds that are like a single consonant, that means like a short bird, that means that when you pronounce it, it's like play, stop. It's just one sound. So we are going to double the last letter and then we add the ED, okay? So we have the examples right here. So this is something that we mentioned yesterday, okay? This is about the regular verse. And we were mentioned also about the simple past. The simple past is when we are talking about something in the past. And if you want to talk in the past, so you need to use bird to be in past that can be was or where, or the birds, okay? There are two ways, okay? Usted puede decir, hacer, eh, usando el verbo to be, right? Yo estuve ahí, I was there, okay? So that's the bird to be. El eh, estuvo trabajando. He was working. Okay. He was working. So that's the bird to be. But if we want to use the other birds that we have regulars and irregular, so we need to memorize the birds. Okay. Or if it is a regular bird, so we have to memorize the rules. Okay. Para los estos regulares es más fácil because if you know the rules, so you can do the bird in past. Okay, you can use the verb in past, but we have right now the irregular birds. Okay, so with the irregular birds, that is something different because there are no rules. Okay, so with the irregular birds, we have a long, we have thousands of thousands of thousands birds. Okay, that we can use every day. And if we want to talk and use the bird in the past. So we need to know the bird, okay? We need to memorize the bird, okay? Here we have a list, as this is a short, hay unas listas inmensas, like the one that uh, you shared yesterday. So ahí hay una infinidad de verbos, okay? I will try to see if I can send it a, another one so that probably you can have it like a link and you just need to, you know, click on the link and you will see the list, okay? So, because we need to memorize, okay? So, um, we are not gonna see all these birds, okay? If you see a bird right here in this list and you don't know what is the meaning, so try to search for the for the meaning because if we stop, uh, vamos a echar aquí toda la clase, right? Checking the meanings of each of these words that probably we don't know. But this one is like common verbs, okay? Aquí hay como verbos bien comunes, okay? So that we can use, okay? So if you see in this column, we have the verb in the base form. And in this one, we have the verb in past. And this one, this is another uh, list, okay? For the verbs in the base form. And this one right here is the one that is in past, okay? So if I want to say, estoy comiendo pupusas, right? I am eating. In this case, that will be present continuous, right? Pero si usted quiere decir, yo como pupusas todos los días. I eat pupusas every day. So that is simple present, 
Ok, pero usted me quiere decir que usted comió pupusas ayer. Usted me va a decir, I ate pupusas yesterday. No me puede decir, I eat pupusas yesterday. ¿Cómo así? O, o, o come pupusas en, en todos los días o comió ayer. So that's why we need to know the birds, ok? No hay manera que usted use el verbo en la forma base y usted me está hablando del año pasado, porque usted, uno se va a quedar así, bueno, ahorita o eso fue el año pasado, no le entendí, ok? So, one more time, we need to know the birds, we need to try to memorize, ok? Trate de anotar all the birds that you don't know because we already know many, many, many birds, but probably from this short list, probably there are some, probably some birds that you don't know. So those birds that probably you don't know, please try to write it down, okay? Write it down in your notebook and you can do something very simple. Every time that you want to learn a word, okay? Este es un tip, okay, that you can use it. You can put it in a piece of paper and you can put it in your in the walk. Okay, donde usted más le gusta, usted le gusta estar en la cocina, ponga ahí un papelito con la palabra que usted se quiere aprender. Every day that you will see the word, you will be seeing the work. So at the end, you will keep it in mind, okay? Or in your room, okay? Hágase como un hábito de una, dos, tres palabras. Ponerlas ahí en un papelito, su familia va a decir que usted está loco, pero that's not, right? It's not like that you are crazy, it's that you really want to learn. Anoten un pedacito de papel ahí con un marcador, un pilot, lo que tenga, y pégalo ahí en la puerta. Todos los días que usted cierra la puerta del cuarto va a ver la palabra. So at the end you will learn it, okay? And you will see, oh, that's the new word, okay? I didn't know what is, um, for example, uh, let's see. Alguno que pueda que no me lo pueda, de Hemo Bear, for example, I don't, I don't know this one, sell, sold, sell, sold, okay, so I will search the meaning, I will put it in, in a piece of paper or something, and I will be seeing the bird every day, so at the end I will know what is the meaning and how to write it down and how to pronounce it, okay, so in a few words, los verbos o los aprendemos o los aprendemos, right, no hay otra, otra opción. Usted se los tiene que aprender. Okay, so let's continue. Let's see, we have a conversation right here that it says, I didn't study. Okay, look at the, look at the picture right here and the poor uh, uh, guy right there with the test. Okay, so it says, this is a conversation between Michael and Jennifer. And it says, Michael, hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend. I felt a little tired today. I feel a, a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do you have a test today? I didn't study. Oh, I'm sorry, it says, do we? Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch television all weekend. Oh my God, just do I reprobo el exam. Okay, so do we have any new word right here? Any uh, something new that probably we don't know? Or everything is clear? Hello? Questions about this uh, small conversation that we have here? Everything is clear, right? So probably we have a roommate. You know what is a roommate? Compañero de cuarto. Okay, so we don't have hidden and salvador, right? That's in the U.S. That the, that when you are studying at the university, you go and live in a different place. So probably you have a roommate. Um, no, there there are roommates here and the uh, like pupils. When oh yes. Have... <laughs> now uh, now yes, it's true. Um, 
It's true. That's uh, something more common nowadays, okay? Especially people that wants to work and study in San Salvador and they are from San Miguel, La Union, blah, blah. So they are living here, okay? Nice. Yes. My my sister uh, started that, that form because we live um, on Usulita and she had to, she started in San Miguel and then when she had to came to San Salvador, all, all the family came to from San Salvador. Okay, yeah, I see. But now that you are in San Salvador, so all your, all your family can be and stay at your house. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's true. That's true. So a lot of people, it's, you know, living in San Salvador, but they are from outside or, you know, the, the other, con the other uh, departments from El Salvador. Nice. So let's do a practice, okay? Let's see, uh, Herbert, you will be Michael, and let's see, Jessica, you will be Jennifer, okay? So go ahead, Herbert. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, well, on Saturday I exercise in the morning, then my room roommate and I clean it, did laundry and shop it. And then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the this all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, thank you. Perfect. So uh, nice. Uh, we need to work in the pronunciation for the simple past verbs. Okay, so we need to uh, check in the in the platform we have a video okay so if you are able to listen that part okay you will listen the pronunciation the endings okay of the birds okay because not all the birds are pronounced the same when we have the birds in the past okay probably if we have time so we will check that video okay so that can help us also in the book in the manual so we have that part okay so we will see later so let's continue okay let's see what else we have right here we have um this uh grammar focus this is something that is in the book okay ahí lo he sacado del libro para que vean que what we are learning is from the book and also from the platform okay so sometimes probably i add something else but I, it's it's most of the time, the same information, okay? It says right here, simple past statements, irregular verbs. Okay, so let's see the, the sentences that we have. Uh, Edwin A, tell, could you please read this one, the first one? Okay. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. Thank you, Etel. So look at the picture. So in this one, we are using did. Did is the auxiliary that we use for past statements, okay? Every time that you want to mention something that happened, so you, you will use this auxiliary, okay? Siempre que usted vea el did or el, din, did, el didn't or did not, okay? Aquí, no, aquí está con contraction, so didn't. But if you see, it's uh, the negative form, okay? So... Every time that you have an auxiliary, este es un auxiliar, right? Every time that you have the auxiliary did, so that means that we have a, that we have a, a negative statement, okay? That we have a negative statement in the past, okay? So one more time, look at right here. I did my homework. Look, she was probably, yes, doing her homework, but look at the laundry box, I guess. Yeah, it's just like, uh, dirty clothes or in the back so i didn't do laundry i didn't do laundry okay so that is an example using the 
auxiliary. Let's see, uh, Eneida, Patricia, read the next one, please. Uh, this one. Uh, you got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. Okay, thank you. It says, uh, you got up. I'm sorry, que le puse esto, no sé. I'm not able to see the participants. Just give me one moment. I'm going to stop sharing and I will do it again because I like to see your names. Okay, so I don't know why I don't see it right now, but let's continue, okay, I have it here. So it says, uh, you got up at noon, you didn't get up at 10, okay? So look, this is the past, okay? Get up, that's the present, okay? And this one is got up, okay? This one is the past. In negative, in negative we have, you didn't, okay? And in this one, look, every time that we have an auxiliary, the verb will be the same. Please, grabense eso, okay? Se está hablando en pasado, pero usted tiene el auxiliar, did, no va a modificar el verbo, okay? Look at right here, yes, the verb is in the past because there, there is no auxiliary right here. But in this one that is in negative, we have the auxiliary didn't. So the verb will be in the base form. Y siempre la oración está en pasado, okay? Because of the auxiliary. Uh, let's see, let's see who. Ana Guerra, number three. Uh, this one, please. He went to the mis mi museum. He didn't go to the library. Thank you. It says he went to the museum, okay? The museum, museum. and uh, the negative says we didn't, oh, I'm sorry, he didn't go to the library, okay? So look, we have the verb right here, go, went, okay? Go, it's the base form and the el pasado de go is went, okay? He went to the museum or he didn't go to the library, nice. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Carla, Carla Moreno, this one. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. Okay, thank you. We met our classmate, okay? We didn't meet our teacher, okay? Meet, met. So this one is the... Uh, Simple past, la forma pasada de este verbo, okay? Nice, uh, let's see, Cindy Aldana, Cindy Aldana, this one. Okay, you came home late. You didn't come home early. Thank you, perfect, okay? You came home late. You didn't come, come, came, come, came, home, early okay you didn't come home early thank you and the last one will be for uh let's see let's see let's see ingrid xiomara ingrid xiomara okay they had a picnic they didn't have a party thank you okay they had okay look in past they had Ellos tuvieron un picnic, okay? So they didn't have a party, okay? Have, had, okay? So por lo menos aquí ya se aprendió six birds, okay? In past, do, did, uh, get, got, go, went, meet, met, come, came, have, and had. Okay, so as I told you, we need to memorize the birds. Okay, we need to memorize the birds. There is no a magic formula or a magic rule that we can use. Now, what we have right here, I have 
irregular verbs, okay? So look, this is an example, okay? Hay una infinidad de verbos, ya se lo dije, muchos, 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 right? So, uh, but in this case, um, we are going to learn the past, okay? Acá donde dice infinitive, that means this is the uh, base form, okay? Este es el pasado, and this one is a past participle. Si usted puede, yo le recomiendo que trate de aprenderse los tres de una vez. Porque usted me dice, no, ahorita solo me voy a aprender el presente y el pasado. Vamos a llegar a ver el, el presente perfecto. That's the present perfect. And we will need the past participle of the verb as well. So my best advice is learn the verbs in the three way. Okay. So, for example, this one, be, was, where, and being. That's the, I'm sorry, that's the past participle that we are going to learn later on, okay? Pero los verbos en inglés tienen tres formas, okay? En español creo que tenemos aún más, okay? En español hay una infinidad de conjugaciones de verbos que, uh, I don't know if you, uh, have you ever seen the, hay un, hay un meme, que sale un little cat and it says English grammar, okay? A little cat and it says uh, Spanish or uh, Castilian grammar, it's a big lion, okay? So la gramática de nosotros es mucho, 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 mucho más complicada que la gramática del idioma inglés. Así que esto que nos motive, que nos ayude a, yes, that we can learn, okay? Because grammar in English is, it's not easy at the beginning it's probably kind of confused but at the end you will see that it's very simple okay so aquí están las formas en las que ustedes van a, con, a conjugar un verbo okay like for example the verb go okay go that's present went that is in past and gone that is in past participle de una vez apréndase las tres formas ya que está usted aprendiendo verbos de una vez, por eso puse esta imagen just for you to clarify that part, porque en las listas siempre les van a aparecer tres columnas y usted me dice, no, pero yo solo me voy a aprender el pasado mm. de una vez, aprendas el pasado participio para que cuando lleguemos ahí, so you know the birds, ok, try to memorize in the three ways ok, for example, break broke, broken speak, spoke, spoken Okay, so there are some others that it's like this one, room, run, room. Okay, so hágase una lista usted y propóngase at least be uh, learning or memorizing like five birds uh, every day. Okay, five birds every day, but in the three forms. Okay, so questions about this? No questions, are we clear so Thank far? You. Yeah, go ahead. All clear. All clear. Okay, all clear. Okay, like horchata clear? No, right? Asalguate clear? No, it's crystal clear. Clear. <laughs> okay, nice. So let's move on. Let's continue. Let's see uh, what else we have right here. We have another conversation, okay? And then we will do a practice, okay? This is a conversation. Did you like it? Okay, do you, did you like it? That's a question in past. Te gustó, dice usted. Did you like it? Okay, this is a conversation between Laura and Erica. And it says, so did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon, okay? Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went right water rafting on the Colorado River. Whoa, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We have a great time. Okay, so that is the uh, small conversation that we have. 
So I don't know if we have any new work or something that it's not clear in this conversation or everything is clear. Questions or, or any work or any vocabulary, todo está claro? No hay ninguna palabra nueva? Hiking. Hiking. Okay, that's a, a sport. That's like a, um, let's see what is hiking. We went, how is, we rode and hiking there. So hiking, do you know the meaning of hiking? ¿Quién sabe? Hiking. Escalar. Esquiar. Es escalar. Ok. Escalar. Ok. Escalar. Hiking there. Ok. So look at the, the, the picture. Aquí están como, like, I don't know, in, 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 the, in la nieve, right? The, the, the snow. Ok. So that is hiking. It's in the river. I guess, yes, they are in the river, right? Aquí dice Colorado River, okay? That's like, como le dicen esto? Deporte extremo, ex, uh, extreme in ex, sport, right? That's an extreme in sport. Okay, nice. What is, teacher, what is the meaning rafting? Rafting. Mm, okay, rafting on, okay? Este es, okay? Canotaje. Exacto, ok. Vean, ahí van en la, no sé, eso no es canoa, no sé cómo se llamará este. Pero han visto eso que van haciendo, ¿cómo it's le like dicen? Ajá, es como like una little, balsa. Una balsa. Sí, son uh -huh. unas balsas. Una balsa, uh -huh. pero es especial para eso porque va a una velocidad uh -huh. in the river, right? So, that's son como rápido. Rápido. Viene para agarrarse también. Mm -hmm. So that, that is the, the rafting, okay? Esa es la, la acción de ir en esa balsa uh, in the water, right? They, they mentioned in the Colorado River, okay? Um, nice. Roll. We rode horses. Aha, uh -huh. we rode horses. This is the pass, okay? Usted dice, I ride a bicycle, okay? So. I ride a bicycle every day. Yo monto bicicleta. No sé, nosotros no decimos, yo me subo en la bicicleta, decimos nosotros, right? Pero el verbo que usamos es ride, como montar, conducir la bicicleta. So in this case, it's horses, okay? So montar, nosotros montamos caballos, right? Road, that's the, the, the past tense of the verb, el pasado. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's practice. Okay. We will do it just one time. Okay. Let's see. Let's see who. Uh, German. German Mejia. Uh, you will be Erica and let's see who. Uh, Herbert. No, Herbert ya participó. Let's see. Eneida Patricia. Teacher, Eric, are you? Yes. Espéreme, espéreme, espéreme. Okay. Creo que ya le había preguntado a Eneida. Vamos a ver. Hilda Milagro. Hilda Milagro, so you will be Laura. Okay. So start, Hilda. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did, my sister, and I went to Arizona. We said we saw the Grand Canyon. 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 Really? Did you like it? Uh, oh, yes. We love, love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we did, didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went while well, water practicing on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did, we had a great time. Okay, thank you, thank you. So we need to be careful with the pronunciation in the past, right? So remember um, that we need to use also the correct intonation in English. If you have a question, so you need to sound like a yes, it is a question. 
If you have an exclamation mark like this one, wow, okay, wow, did you have fan? So we need to um, try to use the exclamation right here. So actually, okay, actually, actually, okay, and these ones, did you like it? So trate de hacerlo como unido, right? Did you like it? Eat. Así se escucha. It's correct, right? Pero se, cuando usted está talking, so no lo va a hacer así como que tan cortado, right? So you can say, oh, did you like it? We love it. Okay, we love it. That's something that you need to start like practicing, right? Para hablar un poquito más fluido, decimos nosotros. Un poquito más de velocidad when we are talking. If you are writing down, so it, it's nice if you write it like this. Okay, but if you are talking, so you can use the contractions. Nice. So let's see what else do we have right here. We have the lesson, um, the lesson 4.10. Okay, that's almost the, the last one. Okay, almost the last one. So let's see, let's see, let's see who. Um, Eugenia Ayala, Asuncion. So can you please help me with the reading? Okay. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple past yes, now question. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrate how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Okay, that's what we will see right now. At the end, we will see uh, the simple past, but now yes, no questions. Okay, when we have a question in the past and how we can answer with a short answer. Okay, we will see a conversation and also we will try to do an activity. Okay, so uh, let's see what we have right here. Look, this is something extra in the book. It looks different, okay? En el libro le va a parecer un poquito diferente, okay? But uh, this is something that I just put it right here. The past simple for yes, no questions and short answers, okay? So look, eh, la regla del pasado simple, it's something simple because you know that for all the subjects, what you will do is do the verb in past. Ya sabemos las reglas, si es regular o que me los tengo que memorizar, si es irregular. Para yo poder hablar en pasado, yo tengo que aprenderme los verbos en pasado, porque si no, no voy a poder decir nada de lo que yo hice ayer, hace una hora, el año pasado, el mes pasado. So if I want to talk in this using uh, expressions in past, so I need to know the verbs in past, okay? Si es regular, veo con qué termina y veo qué es lo que se le agrega y ya lo hago en pasado. But if it is an irregular, you know that you have to memorize the verb, okay? Si yo digo, yo quiero decir, yo fui ayer a caminar. So, and if you don't know the verb go in past, so ahí estamos mal, porque usted me dice, no, es que yo le quiero decir que yo fui ayer a caminar. So, yes, I went to walk yesterday. Pero si yo no sé que el pasado de go es went, ahí estoy eh, es, estancado, right? So I have to know the verse. So now we have a question, okay? And the questions in the past will be with the famous auxiliary did, okay? Y mire qué bonito esto. Para todos los sujetos es el mismo auxiliar, facilito. No es como en el, el verbo to be, right? Que está el, el was y el were. Or the verb to be in the in simple present that we have am, is, are. Y usted tiene que estarse acordando con quién va el am, con quién va el is y con quién va el are. Okay? So in this case, look, the auxiliary did is for all the subjects. Okay, now the verb will be in the base form. Aquí no le voy a poner ed, no me le vaya a meter a todos los verbos ed, porque no es así. Okay, also uh, in this case, it's a question. Look, we have a question mark and we have the auxiliary. Keep it in mind, grábeselo así. 
every time that I see an, uh, an auxiliary, so the verb will be in the base form. Al verbo ni le quito ni le pongo, lo dejo tal cual el verbo es. Okay, so in all the subjects, I, we, he, she, it, we, they, so the auxiliary will be exactly the same. Now let's see the short answer. Okay, that's the, the part that appears in the book. It says, yes, I did. If it is possible, yes, uh, you did. Yes, he did. Yes, she did. Yes, it did. Yes, we did. So look, because of the auxiliary did, that would be the same. Now in negative, no, I didn't. Okay, so no, no fui, no, no lo hice. So no, he didn't. So this is the way that we have the short answers okay este pedacito es lo único que nos pide el verbo el, el book but i add this extra because that's important for you to know so questions about the yes no questions with short answers ya vamos a ver unos ejercicios oh my god Teacher, yes go ahead in this case when we say the short answer we always say the auxiliary we don't say, yes. um, digamos, El verb. yes, she she could, and um, with the the verb in past. Exactly, that's that's what we will see, but that will be the full answer. In este caso, estamos viendo a uh, short question, okay, short answer, okay. Si usted quiere responder de forma corta, yo le digo, usted fue a caminar ayer, sí, yo fui, yes, I did. Y ya usted me quiere explicar más. I went, y ahí usted me dice, ahora sí, that will be the full answer, que ya lo vamos a ver. Pero in this case, this is yes, no question, short answer. Usted me dice, sí, yo fui, no, no fui, dependiendo lo que yo le esté preguntando, right? Pero ya usted me quiere dar la full answer y me quiere decir, no, yo no estudié ayer. No, I didn't study or I study, yo sí estudié, I studied in past yesterday at night that's uh, the full answer oh, okay perfect okay. so let's see we have right here um i don't know if we will have time okay to complete this exercise but this is practice okay this is practice okay it says complete the chart about yes no questions in past simple okay it says the question number one did you finish your homework? So let's see. Imagine que les estoy preguntando y usted me va a decir yes at the beginning and then yes, no. Yes, I okay. did. Perfect. Yes, I did. Yes, let's I see. Did. In negative, oh. let's see. Angie Lopez, in negative, did you finish your homework? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Diana Lisbeth, did you organize the shares? Diana? Hello, hello, be ready, please. Diana sí, Lisbeth, teacher. Uh -huh. answer this question with a positive. Did you organize the shares? Diana? Okay, no problem, Diana. Let's see, uh, let's see, let's see. Fidel, did you organize the shares positive? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, okay. Let's see, Harold in negative. No, I didn't. No, I didn't, okay. So let's see, we will do one more. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Ingrid Xiomara. Did I check your notebook? Positive? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, yes, negative, please. let's see. Irene Beatriz, Irene Beatriz, the same, now in negative? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. So, you see, very simple. Esto es la forma Corta. Okay, so we are going to continue because of the time. Okay, so, but we have more questions there. So, this is something that it's in the book. Let me see. 
we will finish this one, okay? I know that it's almost time, but we will start, we will try to see this. Tomorrow, I will give you examples using the complete answer, okay? Si yo le digo, le pregunto a usted, um, did you uh, work? Did you work today at seven o'clock? Le estoy preguntando si usted trabajó. Y usted me quiere decir, si sí, yo trabajé. Ok. Yes, I work. Ahí ya uso el verbo en pasado. So that is a, the, the full answer. Ok. It's not a short that yes, I did or no, I didn't. So, uh, my God, it's just four minutes. Ok. Probably we are going to start this one and we will finish tomorrow. Ok. This is an activity that is in the book. Okay, so we will do it in pairs, but we will do it tomorrow, okay, in the breakup rooms. And you are going to ask these kind of questions to one of your classmates, okay, using did, okay, did you go anywhere interesting last summer? Okay, so you can create like one or two sentence uh, questions, okay. Did you work last summer? Did you meet any interesting people? Okay, did you uh, see any movie last summer? Okay, so aquí usted puede crear like, I don't know, let's see, two, four, six, uh, 12 questions, okay? So, escriba nada más dos, okay? So, ya no lo vamos a terminar por el tiempo, pero mañana seguimos, okay? Usted va a escribir two questions y se las vamos a preguntar a alguien más acá de la clase. And that's something that we can uh, practice the questions using did. Y aquí, mire, aquí está la forma de contestar. We have an example. Did you go anywhere interesting last summer? Yes, I did. Y aquí viene ya. I went to the beach almost every day and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So um, we are going to stop right here because of the time. And I have to pass the attendance one more time. But as I told you, tomorrow we are going to continue with some extra exercise and practice about the uh, questions in the past using did. El bichito no se bañó. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yo creo que no. Okay. So, questions? Yes, yes, she, Go uh, ahead. Sorry, she did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he no, didn't. No, he didn't. My, he didn't my, uh, my daughter take the shower. My daughter answered me that that yes, he did. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, eh, eh, look, uh, les han enviado para inscribirse al nuevo módulo, ¿ok? Es responsabilidad de cada uno de ustedes enviar esa información al correo que se les ha enviado. No me lo mande a mí. No me lo mande ahí el grupo del WhatsApp. Mándelo al correo que se le envió. Cada módulo, bueno, ustedes ya saben cómo esto funciona. Usted debe de hacer inscripción para que Insafor continúe patrocinando estas clases. Así es que esa es su responsabilidad. Tienen una fecha límite para poder enviar la información. No olvidemos trabajar en la plataforma. Ahora estaba medio revisando, no sé si fue de este grupo o del otro, que ya vi más avances, ¿ok? Y algunos me han estado diciendo, pero mire, yo lo pongo bien y, y me sale malo. Y yo sé que la, la plataforma es un poco tricky, pero tenemos que avanzar, ¿ok? Yo espero que para el ¿qué? lunes, martes de la otra semana usted esté al 100 en todo. Para que no estemos el jueves ahí, que lo voy a tener desvelándose después de la clase hasta que termine. Entonces, no permitamos llegar a eso. Usted tiene que el lunes, si es posible, martes, a más tardar, usted estar en 100 en todo. Todo, 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 toda la plataforma. ¿Ok? Para que usted llegue a ese 80% requerido para poder continuar. ¿Ok? So, eso es como un, un FYI, ¿ok? Un anuncio. So, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me pass the attendance. One more time. What is it? That's right here. So let me know if you are here, Ana Astrid. I'm here. Thank you, Ana Guerra. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Cristina. Ana Lisbeth. 
I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ana Miriam? Ana Miriam? Ana Victoria? Angie Elizabeth? Present, Miss. Carla Raquel? Present, teacher. Cindy Areli? I'm here. Cordelia Elizabeth? I'm here. Daniel Edgardo? Present, teacher. Nice. Uh, Diana Lisbeth? Diana? Present, teacher. Thank you. Doris Maricel? Yeah. No. Doris, Doris? No. Oh, my God. Edwin Edgardo? Present, teacher. Edwin H. Present, teacher. Eneida? Present, teacher. Erica? Erika no estaba. Eugenia Asuncio. Present, Miss. Thank you. Uh, Fidel. Here. Yeah. Thank you, Francisco. Hey, teacher. Nice. Herman Mejia. Present, teacher. Gracias. Uh, it says uh, Glenda Annette. Glenda, Harold Eduardo. Present teacher. Herbert Douglas. I'm here teacher. Hilda Milagro. Here teacher. Ingrid Xiomara. Present Miss. Irene Beatriz. I'm here teacher. Jaime uh, Antonio. I'm present Miss. Jefferson Mauricio. Jessica Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I'm sorry that I take I took like two more minutes. So thank you uh, for being on time. See you tomorrow. And please don't forget to study as much as you can. Please try to memorize birds. Mañana le voy a preguntar así alguno, dos que tres, para ver cuántos verbos se ha aprendido. Okay. So uh, thank you and see you tomorrow. Okay. Mañana seguimos clase. Good night. Bye bye. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.